Hello, oh, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the U.S. markets for Friday's trading session, the 24th of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so the narrative at present, really, or the recurring theme uh, for the last uh, day or two, has been the uh, healthcare bill. Okay, in terms of uh, Trump passing that, if he passes that, then he can go on to his other reforms, whether it be in the banking industry or whether it be with regards to tax or whether it be with regards to infrastructure spending, etc. So, given the uh, Comey testification as well, it seems that he's certainly lost a lot of political clout. Okay, and uh, that certainly seems to be uh, feeding through in terms of the uh, uh, infighting between the Republicans if they are not uh, perceived as being one then uh, investors certainly lose hope that uh, any uh, additional fiscal stimulus certainly will be put through. And it certainly jeopardizes any future uh, legislative uh, pr potential uh, plans going through. So again, in terms of the markets, it certainly is being perceived as negative, although that has been negated now by Mr. Trump arguing that regardless of what happens with regards to the health care bill, he'll go ahead with his tax free form regardless, although he will be injured from it. Okay. So from my perspective, that certainly leaves the market remaining or maintaining bullish given the fact that the hopium trade on the fiscal stimulus and deregulation has certainly uh, uh, certainly hasn't lost steam at all. And really, it's more of a buy the dip type for philosophy at present, regardless of how bearish the news is. And that certainly remains intact to a large extent. So let's look at the actual uh, economic data now. Or should we say, uh, well, economic data wise, really, it's all about Fed. We have one Fed speaker, really, who's going to be dictating. Other than that, nothing really of major importance in the U.S. market. You have Fed Evans, okay, who's going to be talking, and Mr. Bullard. So two potential Fed members. Uh, you have durable goods as well, uh, and uh, and that really is it. Uh, you've got U.S. market PMI and Baker Hughes rig count uh, in terms of the market. Nothing really overtly market moving um, from my perspective, other than the Mr. Bullard and Mr. Evans really are going to reiterate the same uh, sort of uh, theme in terms of Fed speakers that the rate hikes are, are obviously on the table. In terms of the markets, let's see exactly how the markets are reacting. Let's start with the Dow Transportation Index first and foremost. The Dow Transport Index certainly has been hammered, okay? This so called rally that we've uh, obviously witnessed from January uh, certainly has been negated all in all. So if the, the market or infrastructure spending is going to go ahead, if we are going to get this so called stimulus, then one would expect or anticipate the uh, Dow Transportation Index to uh, certainly be at the lofty heights, and that certainly isn't the case. But we are coming into support now. This is a support zone, so this isn't an area that I would like to be short on the uh, the Dow Transport, certainly an area where one would expect a potential short squeeze. Okay, so again, Dow Transport's into support. So certainly not an index that I would like to be short at this level with infrastructure spending looming. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the actual Dow, let's go to the Dow 30. Okay, let's start off with the daily chart here. Okay, Dow certainly again another index that's been crushed quite substantially, given the fact that uh, the uh, doubt has been raised with regards to Mr. Trump's actual uh, stimulus, etc. Okay, so for now, we're languishing at that 2600 level. Uh, from a daily chart perspective, you've obviously closed a gap here, okay? So gap fill support, again, this isn't a zone that I would like to be short. If anything, I'd be on the long side, okay? 60-minute chart on the uh, Dow Transports, you can see that, or should we say Dow Jones, should I say, sorry? Uh, Dow Jones are certainly into gap fill support, hitting double bottom support. Uh, and again, for my anticipation, my expectation, we are looking for a rally higher. So you'd look for a rally to 2,900, possibly 2,100 on the down, okay? So bias certainly remains bullish, okay? Now let's go over to the Russell now. Let's go to Russell itself. Okay, so Russell daily chart, the flush certainly has uh, ended from my perspective, okay? Certainly into uh, horizontal support. There is a, an unfilled gap below, uh, but given the fact that the market certainly has factored in that bearish news, uh, given the fact that uh, the bill or the deregulation isn't going to go ahead, uh, from my perspective, we do need some uh, extremely bearish news in order to uh, uh, close a gap below, okay? And again, 
Uh, it certainly seems like they're carving out some, some type of head and shoulders formation here. So, so certainly be wary of that. Okay. In terms of the S&P 500, let's go to the daily chart. The S&P uh, again. Yes, we have this bearish engulfing candle that really does dictate. To be honest, in terms of the market itself, uh, you have horizontal support down here. So previous support equals resistance. For, for my own interpretation thus far, we are going to potentially retrace further. Uh, that's my understanding. Okay, especially given the fact that Mr. Trump certainly has played down the uh, health care bill and we're certainly looking to move higher. From my perspective, you're looking at breaking 2360, potentially hitting 2365 and 2370 before we start to reverse. So just bear that in mind. Okay, that certainly is something to uh, contemplate over in terms of the, uh, the market itself. Okay. Uh, certainly looking for support to hold, uh, certainly looking for double bottom to hold, okay? So you have support at 23.42 and then 23.37. Certainly looking for a retest of that 23.60 zone, potentially even higher up to 23.70 on the S&P 500, okay? Uh, certainly looking for a bullish scenario at present. Let's move on to the, uh, the NASDAQ now, okay, folks? Let's look at the NASDAQ. Let's go to the daily chart of the NASDAQ here. Yes, we have... Uh, I close the gap, we're consolidating within the red candle. How much do we consolidate? That's the question. 60 minute chart on the uh, the NASDAQ itself, we've certainly held gap fill, we've bounced off gap fill. Okay, uh, my perspective really here is that we're looking to potentially go up to 5,400, potentially test that zone at 5,400. Certainly looking for a bounce higher here on the NASDAQ. Again, it seems that we're carving out some form of HS formation. You've got the left shoulder here, head obviously has gone in. Okay, it's all about the right shoulder now. Okay, so watch out 5400 once the right shoulder goes in. Okay, so that certainly seems to be the status quo, folks. Okay, uh, from my perspective. Let's quickly bring up the uh, the biotechs. You've got the biotech certainly into support now on the daily chart. Let's quickly bring up the semiconductors. Okay, so semicons at the moment. Again, 10 minute chart looks like it's into support here as well. Let's go to a 60 minute chart. Okay, so certainly bounced off previous resistance equals support. So again, bullish. Uh, again, certainly uh, one would uh, certainly expect the uh, biotech certainly to be in, into resistance given the uh, the Trump's attack on um, pharmaceutical stocks. Okay, and in terms of their prices, uh, again, certainly an argument can be made that we can go back and test the high. So be interesting to see how the uh, the biotechs and the semiconductors play out in, in the session today but the nasdaq certainly seems like it wants to uh, rally off this oversold bounce and the s p certainly is building a potential base so bear that in mind 2360 will be quite decisive if you break through that then you are looking at 2370 potentially 2380 again so all eyes on the s p 500 okay so really for my by my understanding of um, price action thus far and the news flow uh, is uh, the US market certainly are, have uh, shaken off the uh, healthcare concerns or the bill itself and really from my perspective the bill itself has become noise and the focus remains on future tax reform and future deregulation from Trump's perspective which again should be supportive of equities uh, first target really will be 2360 on the S&P if you break through there then you are looking at 2370 on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit trade signals, signals and market updates from leading providers. Goodbye.